Hi everybody, this is Paul from Easy Promotions and today we're going to go through how to remove a hijacker off your Amazon's private label listing using Amazon brand registry. Um, Amazon hijackers can be a real damage to your business um, and th in this case we're going to be going through Chinese suppliers shipping over. I successfully removed two Chinese sellers off my listing the other day and it only took two hours through the Amazon brand registry before I got a confirmation email through from Amazon uh, and they were removed. Um, a lot of people struggle with this uh, because they don't know how to talk to Amazon and communicate potentially with Amazon. We're going to go through how to a do the trademark infringement through Amazon brand registry and what to say to Amazon without having to buy the product from China and get it shipped over which is going to take 30 days to check that it is infringing on your trademark. So let's get started. Um, beforehand if you're unsure about how to deal with uh, hijackers initially you should always just send them a cease and desist letter. Sometimes it might be a mistake somebody when they're setting up when, if they're new to Amazon you know um, they may accidentally list under your listing and this does happen and you know these people need to learn so you know we can send out a cease and desist letter if you're unsure I've just taken an example of Nike shoes here so if you need to send a cease and desist letter um, you can click on offers and then you can go down here uh, let's say click on their name so the store owner name and you can say ask a question and then you'll paste a cease and desist letter. Uh, here we've got uh, just a quick this cease and desist letter, just going to quickly read it out. Oh, will go through the summary points. Dear Hijacker, it has come to attention that you're using your brand name, so here we've got Easy Promotions brand name, and trademark to sell products on Amazon.co.uk or whatever Amazon account uh, country you're selling from. We are the sole user and registered owners of the Easy Promotions logo and branding and you do not have permission to use our trademark or distribute our products. Um, this is a good key point when um, you're trying to stop people who are literally just selling, especially from China. Sometimes your manufacturer might have sold some excess stock off to somebody or they're selling it themselves. Um, you know, you just want to tell them, you know, they do not have permission to use your brand. Uh, we understand this could be a mistake and we are, and we are understanding in this if this is the case. We are happy to allow you time to remove the offending references within or outside of the Amazon platform to our brand and trademark. This letter will serve as your legal notice to cease and desist all activities related to our brand within 24 hours or face further actions on our part. This could include, but not exclusive to, legal action taken against yourself and reporting to Amazon Brand Registry for violation of trademark, which could lead to your selling activities to be suspended on the Amazon platform. We appreciate your swift action in this matter and hope you take corrective action. Kindest regards, Paul from Easy Promotions. So that's a simple template letter. If you go into Google and search template letters for Amazon hijackers, you'll get something similar to this anyway. And you can just, you know, change the names and make it yours. So, yeah, you'd go into ask question. You'd go into ask question and let's say delivery um, and then write message and you could you just literally copy and paste that in there we're not going to do that because obviously we don't own nike trainers and we're not telling them to stop selling nike trainers so what if they ignore that letter so if in 24 hours you haven't got them off your listing um it's probably likely that they're not going to listen so you need to deal with that um this is amazon brand registry i would urge anybody who's starting out on amazon to get their trademark straight away it can take some time depending on what country you are um, in england it can be as quick as three months uh, in america i believe it can go up six months to a year to get your trademark for your product um, for your logo and your brand uh, amazon brand registry in the uk you have to come onto Amazon Brand Registry and give your code from the uh, trademark office in the UK and log it into here and Amazon give you a Amazon Brand Registry account. So we're just gonna sign in quickly. Picking the United Kingdom. Cool, so here you have uh, Amazon brand registry for one of my brands uh, that Easy Promotions use. And we're gonna use the Nike trainers example again. So Nike trainers, let's pretend we're Nike and we wanna put in a complaint. 
So um, here you go, you'll see literally, so we'll pick the first one, but obviously you'd go down, you'd find your brand or your product down in this list. And this is really important, the ne this next bit, you need to make sure that you're going on to show offers, yeah? And you're picking the offending uh, sh seller. Yeah, you, this is where some people go wrong, where they've ended up getting their own listing suspended, and obviously they then can't sell because they've basically effectively reported themselves. It does happen. It's a bit of a minefield. You've got to be really careful with brand registry. So let's say Brand Sports 24 are the ones who are basically drop shipping or using our brand, and uh, they're they're getting it from China or they're a Chinese manufacturer selling our brand. So we go on to brand support and then you want to go on to select issue type uh, and we're going to go for trademark infringement. So we're going to go for a, uh, a product or its packaging has our trademark on it. We don't want to go on product detail pages unlawfully using my trademark example because that could open us up to um, you, you know you, uh, them shutting down the whole listing and obviously we want to keep our own listing because we want to sell on the listing. Um, we could go for product, product as counterfeit um yeah that is another option so um you pick your brand name obviously i've i've uh, blurred that out um which of the braid trademarks has been infringed so again um you pick which trademark it is and it says here have you bought the item and confirmed that the product or its packaging has your trademark on it now this is where people can get caught out um because amazon might just basically tell them go well you haven't got any proof so get lost we're not taking it off so this is where it comes down to how you're communicating with amazon um say no here because let's say if it's a Chinese seller it's going to take 30 days for them to uh, send it out to you so you don't want to be waiting 30 days while somebody is selling your product and taking sales away from you so um, here we're going to write a quick message to seller support you need to give as much information as possible but in this case uh, we're going to keep it short and sweet and pretty much right what I how I managed to get my hijackers removed the other week okay so the letter we're going to put in here to Amazon brand registry is hi Amazon seller so this will be the offending seller name who is hijacking your listing uh, Amazon seller is using the easy promotions registered trademark and name to sell counterfeit products on the amazon.co.uk platform we easy promotions are the only are the rights owners and the only seller with authority to use the easy promotions trademark and sell our trademark products you may want to add wherever you are in the usa or in the european economic zone um, this violation by the seller name is leading to a poor customer experience on the Amazon platform due to not receiving authentic products and is damaging the Easy Promotions brand. Kindly regards, Paul. Now, that third line, uh, third paragraph is really important. Amazon do care about your brand, obviously, but they care even more about their brand. If you need to point out to them that this product being sold is damaging the Amazon platform. Amazon brand registry are there to protect Amazon mainly and stop them a getting sued by you if you're you know if they're selling legitimate products but mainly as well to sell the you know to protect the Amazon platform if a hijacker is selling counterfeit goods and a customer is expecting a product as it is and they're not getting that they're going to be upset with Amazon so you need to point that out to Amazon and say it's going to lead to a poor customer experience after that you need to um, put your contact name, contact email, and submit. Um, you may have to appeal. This may not work straight away, but in the past, it has always worked for me. That's without buying the product from the supplier, uh, the seller that is infringing on your trademark. Um, again, it's really important to get your registered trademark, and this is a last solution. That, um, you know, you should always reach out to the seller first and give them a chance to remove it. Um, but if they're a Chinese seller, nine times out of ten, they're not really interested, um, and they'll just keep it on there. Hope you found that video useful, and uh, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and give this a like. Um, any comment, if you want to comment down below of any videos you want to see in the future, of any subjects that you may be struggling with, pop it down in the comments below and we'll make a video for you.